What's going on everybody? Welcome to another brand new beer review. We've got another brand new one out from Tin Barrel. Tin Barrel. Brand new. Spanking new. And I'm excited to try this one out of Tin Barrel. And it is Smash Passion Fruit. Okay. So boy. Only been on the shelves very, very recently. Yes, yeah, like literally this last week. Exactly. So I personally love passion fruit flavored drinks. Um, if you don't know, NOS is actually a passion fruit and it is my favorite drink of all time. So every time I see a passion fruit drink, I've got to try it. That's why he's always like this and he's always talking. He's always like, ah! They're usually delicious. So <laughs> this one is brand new from Ten Barrel and it's passion fruit. And it comes in at 4.7% alcohol and 19 IBUs. Okay. So, so read it, read it, and read the passion fruit. All right, we'll read what it says on here. We blended fresh passion fruit with a light wheat ale to create a beer that is bursting with tropical fruit aromas and flavors. This beer was made for you to smash first impressions, high scores, job interviews, records. You get the idea. All right. I smash the intros life. And jump right in to smash. Should you say smash right in? Let's smash right into the intro. Oh, dang! All right, we're back with Smash. Time to open up cans and let y'all know what it tastes like. And hopefully you guys can go out there and pick one up today and give it a try. Cause like I said, it's brand new. Here's the cans, very simple. I like let the, the beer. The dark to light itself. There it goes, dark to light. Oh, it does, look at that. All right, see this guys, the can goes from like a dark on this side and it gets lighter to a pink. It goes from like maroon purplish to a bright pink. Um, it's yeah. One of the few colors Ten Barrel does. It's not just a flat plain color of purple, blue, yellow. Mm -hmm. it's the only one that is so true. far where they have blended the two. So uh, Ten Barrel was founded in 2006 in Bend, Oregon, and uh, they're just getting bigger and they're making more and more products. So here we go. No more talking. It's time to smash this can. What's the first uh, initial uh, smell you get before you get with before you drink? I do get beer. I smell beer. I really smell any sweet fruit. Okay. So I'm gonna pour mine into a glass. Get a little sweetness, but you mainly you can tell it's like, no, nah, this is a beer. Beer. It's a nice <laughs> well, fruity color. Oh, check this out. Yeah, a grandmaster pour That's a here. Big old head on that thing. Look at it. Wow. That's what she said. The whole thing. All right, See, you you gotta learn, relearn how to pour. We gotta we gotta send Justin the pouring. School. It's the glass. It's square, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I'm getting some, get some tropical aromas. fruity type of aroma. Um, it smells like it's gonna taste delicious. So here we go. Bottoms up with Ten Barrel Smash Passion Fruit. Cheers, bulls. Here we go. It does give you, like, you smell that beer, but then you take that sip and it's that nice, it's sweet. It's good, yeah. Sweet, you, yeah. You barely taste the beer even. You mainly get the sweet passion fruit and just the... Yeah, it's very juicy. Tropical fruits. Yeah. Really it's, juicy uh, ale. Was it, did I say it was a cream ale? No. Or just a... No, you're still thinking of their other awesome. No, no, it said right here. But it's a... Oh, uh, creative. So are a you... wheat ale, So the overall a, initial uh, a taste... Light. Do you get the passion fruit right away, or, or um, does it take a while to, to get, get your taste blended? It's more on the back end. Yeah, it's in the back end. It's not, it's not the overall initial taste. Yeah, when you, it's more of that wheat, that light wheat ale right at the beginning. So good stuff, Those 19 man. IBUs really kick in the first bite, and then it yeah. cleans out to a very sweet uh, passion fruit flavor. Like yeah. It's really good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, like they said, it has tropical flavors in there. Easy to drink. It's very, very smooth. How how strong would you say the passion fruit is in the drink? Gee, it's pretty good. Like it's actually very prominent. Okay. okay. Mm. I like Sweet, that. a little tart. Tart, yeah, definitely um, tart. 
not too tart though. But it's full of flavor. Tart. There is some tartness into it. And a little bit. And it's <laughs> it's more sweet than anything. <laughs> it is very sweet. A uh, lot of good passion fruit flavor. And it's just an all around really good wheat ale. And I'm so glad that Scott's freaking passion fruit in it. Yummy. Sorry, my wife is in the background. <laughs> but if I was to rate this beer on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going 8.5, <laughs> okay? 8.5 for me on this. Um, it is delicious. Yeah, I would go 8.5 or 9. I would go 9. It is good. 7.5 7 from Ben. I, I just, I love the fact that it's not an overpowering beer. Yeah, right. Not but a, you do not get hobby. that instant beer and then the sweetness and the tartness take over. And it's such a smooth drink. So it kicks off with good. Those 19 IBUs really kicking right there at the front and then it's just sweet, delicious passion fruit right there at the end. And it's only 4.7 so you can drink a lot of these because they're just <laughs> that delicious and you will feel it at the end of the night. All right, that's it from us here at Justin Horsey Reviews doing Smash Passion Fruit from Tin Barrel Brewing. And it's pretty good. I'll smash it. I already smashed mine. <laughs> that was good. Smash. I'm going to drop it if I decide not to. All right, guys, we'll see you again next time for another brand new beer review right here on the best YouTube channel on YouTube ever. Bye!